Hi, welcome back to that tutorguy.com. Uh, this video is just going to be about something I call the bow tie angles. Not sure if anyone else calls them that. Maybe I should put a little TM here. But I call them that because what, what I found is that the students I tutor who are struggling the most with trig, the unit circle wasn't quite doing it for them. If they had a unit circle in front of them, they could look up whatever the information they needed. Like if they wanted to find a sign of 11 pi over 6, they could find 11 pi over 6 on the chart. I know this is too small to see on your video, but you know, the point is that they could find the little spot on the unit circle and look up what the sine and cosine were. But the problem came when they were on a test or quiz and did not have the unit circle in front of them. They just had a lot of trouble remembering stuff. And they had a lot of trouble memorizing the unit circle. So because they, and those students, they seem to look at this as like a million little numbers. It's all really confusing. Many of them are very similar to each other. Whereas what I found was if I started talking about the bow tie angles, so, you know, for example, if you look at 30 degrees, there are four angles in the upper left here. There are four angles that have a 30 degree reference angle, and they all have really similar coordinates. So if you realize that those four angles form this kind of bow tie shape, and then when you look at the unit circle, now when you look at the unit circle, you sort of can see that there's a 30 degree bow tie in here. And that helps you remember, um, you know, the sine and cosine and all this stuff for the 30 degree angles because you recognize how similar they are based on the bow tie. Same thing for 45. Once you've seen the 45 degree bow tie and these students who are having trouble, once they saw that, oh, if you break out the 45 degree angles, then you've got four identical coordinates just with different pluses and minus signs, then they're like, oh, Eureka, now I understand all the 45s. And then when they went to think about anything with a 45 degree reference angle, they sort of knew what the sine and cosine would be because they were sort of picturing the bow tie in their mind instead of picturing this giant cluttered spoked unit circle wheel. So let's take a slightly closer look. And by the way, all this stuff is printable. Like I have a printable version of the chart you're looking at, a black and white printable version PDF on my website, which is linked to next to or below this video. So 30 degree bow tie. Uh, if you're having trouble, here's something I talk about in my other videos too, but you'll notice that the quickest way to spot that you have a 30 degree reference angle is that we've got a six in the denominator if we're working with radians, or that we've got uh, square root of three over two as the cosines, right? But the main point of the bow tie is that all these four sets of coordinates are totally identical, except for plus and minus sign differences. And to figure out the plus and minuses, you can just think about the quadrant you're in. You know, X and Y are either plus or minus, depending on which quadrant you're in. Or you can use all students take calculus, which I discuss on my website, but that's just a mnemonic that helps you decide the plus and minus signs. The 60 degree bow tie, same thing, except the one half and the root three over two are switched. But on this one, when you're, when you're looking at the 30 versus the 60, you have the same coordinates. They both have a one half in them and a root three over two in them, but they're switched. But what I like to do is just look at it and say, hmm, if I look at that first corner of the bow tie, which one looks like it should be bigger? My X coordinate, which is this distance, or my Y coordinate, which is this distance? Looks like y is smaller, right? So that must be the 1 half. Because root 3 over 2 is 0.866 something, whereas you know, 1 half is just 0.5. So the smaller side is going to be the 1 half. And that really helps you on the 62 because the, um, now the longer side is the vertical one, or the y coordinate. So that's how you can remember that the root 3 over 2 goes second in the 60 degree bow tie. And of course, the denominators for all 60 degree reference angles or all angles that have 60 degrees as a reference angle are over 3. And that's just because 60 degrees is pi over 3 in radians. 45, same deal. Easily my favorite because everything's root 2 over 2, right? So anytime you see a 4 in the denominator, if you're working with radians, or you see a root 2 over 2 for anything, you know that both sine and cosine are root 2 over 2, and that you're dealing with 45 degree reference angles. All right, so that's it. Hopefully you'll never see the unit circle quite the same way again. These bow tangles really seem to have helped a lot of the students I've tutored over the years. And I'd hi highly recommend printing out the bow tie thing, referring to it, and really using it to help lock in your memory for what the unit circle is and all the different coordinates. And you can check out that tutorguide.com for lots of videos covering lots of different math classes. Um, right now I have mostly trig and pre-calc, but soon I'll have calculus up. So look forward to seeing you there.